everyone. Thanks for watching our Reg of the Week from Environmental Resource Center. My name is Lizzie Clifton and today we have a transportation of dangerous goods question. So today we're going to talk about the new Class 9 lithium battery label and the new lithium battery mark for shipping lithium batteries by air and vessel. So you'll find these new marks and labels in the 58th edition of the IATA DGR, so that's the International Standard for Air Shipping, and also in the 2016 IMDG code, which is the standard for shipping by vessel. So we're transitioning over to this new mark and label from the lithium battery handling label and also just the standard design class nine label. So let's talk about this one first. So the lithium battery handling label is what we've been using for accepted lithium battery shipped by air and vessel. So this is also called section two lithium batteries by air. And on this, it's pretty straightforward. You just fill in the type of battery, lithium ion or lithium metal, and then you fill in a telephone number for additional information. Now with the new lithium battery mark, we also have to fill in information, but it's different. You have to fill in the UN number right here, which would be like like UN 3481 and then the telephone number for additional information below that. And you have a two year transition period to switch from the lithium battery handling label to the new lithium battery mark. So, you know, if you're like most people in your warehouse, you might have a thousand rolls of these. So they've given you until December 31st of 2018 to transition over to the new lithium battery mark. So you can continue to use this one until that date. But by the first of the year 2019, it is mandatory that you start using the new lithium battery mark and make sure that you fill it in correctly. Now for class nine, we have the standard design class nine miscellaneous hazards label. This is gonna be for our fully regulated lithium batteries or also section one B by air. And we're transitioning over to the new class nine lithium battery label. It's the same size, similar design. The only difference really is that we have these lithium batteries on it. And again, you have a two year transition period. So it's mandatory that you start using this by the first of the year in 2019. So again, you have until December 31st, 2018 to stop using this one and start using the new design, all right? Now don't forget, you need training to ship your lithium battery. So if you're shipping fully regulated lithium batteries, which would be with this label on it here, you have to have the full dangerous good certification, which is due once every two years for air and once every three years for a vessel or as often as your country requires it. If you're only shipping accepted lithium batteries, which would be the one with the lithium battery mark on there, then you can just do adequate instruction training. And this year in the 2017 IATA DGR, they actually clarified what adequate instruction training has to include. So make sure you go and read over that. Now you can get your training done at Environmental Resource Center. Um, we do all kinds of things. We do on sites where one of the consultants can come to your site and give you a class just on shipping your batteries or other dangerous goods. We also do public classes where you can come and learn how to ship all types of dangerous goods. We have a battery webcast. So you can check our schedule on our website for when that's coming up. And we also offer a CBT where if you wanna take the training at your own pace, be able to stop and start it, that's just computer-based training that we sell on our website. All right, so let us know if we can help you guys out with training. Our contact information is below this video. And also ask your other questions that you want me to answer in the regs of the week in the comments below. And I'll select one of those for our reg of the week next week. All right, guys, thanks for watching.